Edith and Heather live in Port Moody, where they moved a couple of years ago. They wanted to live closer to Heather's university, where she's studying to become a high school teacher, and to Edith's job as an occupational therapist. Both have a history of activism, and both are wrestling with how we can scale up green solutions to a whole province or country. They recognize there are changes needed that are bigger than what any one of us, or even an entire community, can do alone. This is where politics and governments come in, but it's also where Edith and Heather, like many of us, get frustrated. They wonder if our governments and political leaders are listening, and if they are up to the challenge of dealing with a problem as big and complex as climate change. At local and provincial and national levels, it's critical to be electing people that um, have long-term vision about what, what the municipality, what the province, what the country will look like in 20 years, because four-year terms and just focusing on four years is, that means we have these four-year chunks and they're, they're not connected. And um, meanwhile, we're losing our planet. As an example of the kind of long-term vision she's looking for, Edith points to the choices we're making about natural resources. I really, I wish that the government would put more time and effort towards looking at ways to change and shift industry a little bit um, towards a more sustainable path. So um, instead of just extracting raw resources, taking a look at processing um, way, ways to add value to the resources that we're, um, that we're extracting from the environment and, and therefore adding more uh, more jobs, more local family-sustaining jobs. As citizens, how can we make these kinds of shifts happen? How can we make sure our governments show strong environmental vision and leadership so that we can make a good green life possible for everyone? I think we also really need to, um, you know, recognize that this isn't just about, um, like, driving your car too often, but it's, like, a much more, like, we need to make a huge cultural shift in all of this. I actually didn't learn much about the um, about elections and voting and about politics in elementary, so I didn't really know how the whole system worked. I hopefully that that's changing these days, and I'd like to see some more education about the political process because if when people are informed about how it all actually works, then um, maybe they'll understand that their vote does matter and, and that they can voice their opinion by um, being active in that process. It's important to vote come election time, but it's also important for us as citizens to tell our governments what we expect of them the rest of the time. What if we rethink our idea of democracy as something that happens every day? What if our governments created opportunities for people to participate actively in defining a vision for our future. I think that we look at governments as top-down, that they're going to do something to us, they're going to make a decision and it will come down to us. But we've discovered through um, my process working on this project, but also through Hammond Neighbours, that governments um, are to a certain extent limited by what their citizens ask them to do. If it's power for the people, then the people have to do something. I think the role of government should be multi-pronged. I think that there is, there is certainly that top-down role that governments need to play in terms of policy and, and all that, but I think a really important role is creating a space for people to get together. Um, so I think there's definitely like some top-down things that need to happen and some grassroots things that need to happen and like hopefully in the middle we can meet and really make some change. Together in community, solving problems together, defining the solutions at a local level, those are all part of doing politics from the ground up. We need the top-down part too, the infrastructure, programs, rules, and systematic changes that only governments can make. But these should be participatory and happen in a dialogue with local communities and citizens. Which means reinventing our idea of government.